Hi everyone, Ross at Teacher Toolkit. How good are you at posing questions and holding students to account? Can you pose a wide range of questioning strategies at the drop of a hat? And what techniques, strategies and question structures do you have as part of your teacher DNA? One of my favorite resources and actually one of the most popular on my site is the Question Matrix, a tool that I've used for a almost a decade actually. Um, if you're not familiar with it, please download it and give it a try. If you are, here is an example of a wide range of questioning strategies. So let's uh, give this a go. Um, I'm gonna grab a random object on my table. What is it? What can it be used for? When should it be used? Okay, let me start off with the first uh, example. Um, what is, what has, what can, what should, what would, what might, what will. Not all these questions will apply to this object, but let's try. What is this? What can it be used for? What should it be used for? Rather than throw it on someone's head, it's to turn over the TV. What could it be used for instead? What will happen if this was made from gold? What might happen if I never change the batteries inside? Let's try a few more techniques. Where is, where was, where can, where should, where would, where could, what will, what might. Now let's grab another random object on my table. Here's my next random object, a school bell. Where is this used the most? Where was the last time you heard this? Where can it be used? Where should it be used? Where would, where could it be used? Where will this bell have the most impact? Where might this bell be used appropriately or inappropriately? Now I've given you a good couple of examples from this resource. There's the when, there's the why, there's the how, there's the who, uh, when. So looking at the matrix, why is, why has, why could, why should, why would, why will, why might, it starts to become part your DNA. Let's try one more. How is, how can, how should, how would, how can, I've said that before, how will, how might. So you start to see all the possibilities. So once you have what, where, when, which, who, why, and how as part of your questioning structure, applying it to an is, has, did, was, can, should, would, could, will, and might, you've got a bank of 40 odd questions that you can post to your students at any time. Then you have all the question and methods, pedagogical techniques you can use. Thermi questions, wait time, post pause, bounce, bounce, no opt out, call, call, whatever it is. Have a wide range of question strategies, but a wide bank of questions you can use at any one time. Then you're in a very strong position. I uh, hope it helps.